Hello friends, welcome back to All on Law. And this is a rapid revising pearl, microbiology. And today I'm going to talk about gram-positive rods. Gram-positive rods. So I'm going to discuss about this. Okay guys, so let's talk about this. So I'm going to give you the genus or a bacteria. Okay, here. I'm going to ask you. You have to tell me. Okay. So let's start about the gram-positive rods. Let's talk about the bacillus. Bacillus. It's a kind of fusion, guys. So brace yourself. Clostridium. Genus. Listeria, actinum, what do you call Carnibacterium, Carnibacterium, not Hornibacterium, it's a Carnibacterium, Actinomyces, then we have no cardia, no cardia, no cardia, no heart, Mycobacterium. Mycobact. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you tell me right. Let's start with the spores Okay, let's tell me spores 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 sp spores who produce spores bacillus positive or negative do they produce? Mm-hmm. Yes Clostridium produce or not? Yes, good. Listeria No Connie no carnibacterium actinomyces no no cardia mm -hmm. mycobacterium no so only two gram positive rods that give the spores are bacillus and the clostridium okay right now let's move on to the aerobic growth ag aerobic growth okay so aerobic growth tell me bacillus aerobic growth yes or no yes Clostridium, mm -hmm, no. Listeria, yes. Carnibacterium, yes. Actinomyces, no, no aerobic growth. No cardia, yes. Mycobacterium, of course, right? They need oxygen. That's why Mycobacterium affects the apex of the lung. Why? Because there is a high flow of oxygen over the apex. That's why they stay in the apex of the lung and causes the infection right now let's talk about the exotoxin ex bacillus do they produce exotoxin yep clostridium yep listeria no carnibacterium yep actinomyces no no cardia no cardia no 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 mycobacterium no no exotoxins, okay, by microbacterium, right? Now let's talk about the faculty to intracellular. Okay, faculty to intracellular. Are they faculty to intracellular bacilla? bacillus? No. Clostridium? Clostridium, tell me. No, yes. Listeria? Yes, they are. Okay, Carnibacterium, no. Actinomyces, no. Nocardia, no. Mycobacterium, yeah. They are faculty to intracellular. Let's talk about what you call um, acid fast. I think this is very simple, right? Only two bacteria can tell me, yes. Partially acid fast or nocardia and mycobacterium. Both all are negative no 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 right yes now st let's talk about what you call um, immunocompromised host i see immunocompromised host tell me what happens bacillus no clostridium no listeria yeah immunocompromised effect chronic bacterium no Actinomyces, no. 
Conocardia? No, yes, yes. Mycobacterium, yes, of course, because they are, if the immunity decreases, that's why they get the Mycobacterium tuberculosis. That's why the Mycobacterium tuberculosis is really very common in HIV patients because of a low, what do you call, because of the um, decreased immunity, right? Yeah. Now let's talk about the branching rods. Branching rods, BR, branching rods. So only two that you should remember, they are branching rods. One is actinomyces and nocardia. Actinomyces and nocardia, all are negative. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Negative, 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 right? So guys, I think this is really very helpful. Ground positive rods, summary of a ground positive rods, ground positive rods, ground positive rods. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video, take care.